I think this one might be the best floor plan yet. You guys know the drill. Let's figure out which letter of the alphabet makes for the best home floor plan in The Sims. As you guys know, we are going in order of the alphabet. So we are now on the letter H. So check out the other letters of the alphabet if you guys want to. And for today's theme, there were surprisingly a ton of really good suggestions that started with the letter H. But there was one comment in particular that really stood out to me because it was able to incorporate the book nook kit that was just released. And that's H for Huga. Now, I have never heard of the term Huga before. I thought that it was pronounced Hygi. Like, I just, I didn't even know. Huga. So I went to Google and I put my researching hat on and I discovered that it's a Danish and Norwegian term. It means like a feeling of coziness, contentment, and well-being found through cherishing the little things. It can be described as simple, soothing things like a cozy environment or the feeling of friendship. So I'm hearing the words comfy, cozy environment, soothing things, enjoying the little things in life. What better opportunity to use the book note kit than this? It's also an aesthetic that I've never really tried before, but I think the general concept is definitely up my alley, so I think this is gonna be a really pretty one. This is also the very first time I'm ever seeing the new items from the book nook kit, so this will kind of be like a first impressions slash me showcasing the items to you guys so you guys can decide if you want to get it or not. Okay, let's floor plan this H, shall we? Okay, before we get started, I just placed every item from the book nook kit here in this corner, just so I make sure that I incorporate every single item in this build, just because we don't have kit filters yet. So if I don't place it all now, I might forget an item later. Pause. It's time to take a smell test. Yes, I mean a smell test of yourself. Do you smell good? Do you smell neutral? Do you smell bad? If your answer was anything but good, then you need to know about today's sponsor, Native. I've been personally using Native deodorants for over a year now, and let me tell you, there is no bigger flex than doing a 50 minute spin class, coming out of the spin class, and somebody telling you that they think you smell good. I'm not joking, that has happened to me on more than one occasion. What I love about these deodorants is they are aluminum and paraben free and vegan and cruelty free as well. For summer, I got their sweet peach and nectar as well as their grapefruit and bergamot and oh my gosh, I was so excited for this one. Oh my gosh, it just smells so summery and fresh and yummy. They also have a sensitive range. This one is made without baking soda and I got the cotton and lily scent. This one's really good if you just want to smell like fresh and clean. It doesn't smell like overly summery, but it's just like a good everyday one in my opinion. They're also not sticky and feel completely dry when you're applying them, which is perfect if you like to work out like I do, or if you just want something for every day. And they provide up to 72 hours of odor protection. Sorry, I like can't stop smelling this. I need to stop. <laughs> So if you think that you might want to smell like me, I have a 20% off coupon code you can use. Click the link in my description and use code DRASHLEY3 for 20% off your first native purchase. This code works site-wide so you can use it on their body washes and lotions as well, but it is only for a limited time so make sure you stock up and save. Let me know if you try it out and which scent I should try next. The letter H might be the absolute best letter to floor plan for a home because we were actually able to incorporate two bedrooms in this letter, which I haven't done for any of the letters so far. So here's going to be the primary bedroom. Then we have a small bathroom here, a secondary bedroom down here, hopefully an entrance in the middle here. Up here, we're gonna have our cozy book nook living room, which will flow into a small dining room and then flow into our open concept kitchen. This feels like an incredibly ideal and just like perfect floor plan. So I'm really excited to see how this turns out with the new book nook kit. Let's start off with flooring. I obviously want to do wood and I was kind of feeling like maybe doing some sort of light wood like this one. I'm not really sure. I definitely wanna go for light and bright vibes in here, maybe even like white brick or white paint on the wall. Let's go with this base game white brick for now. And for windows, let's grab these big white ones from the Moschino pack. These just bring in so much natural light, which is essential for the Huga aesthetic. And don't worry about all this furniture. We're going to move it. It's just placeholder for now. For curtains, let's see if these sheer ones from the Desert Luxe kit will work. I think it would be nice if we can incorporate a ton of curtains without sacrificing any of the natural light coming through. Here are the curtains. I just spaced them out evenly. I think that they look really calming and luxurious. Now, I do think that maybe we should work on the living room first because that's probably gonna like set the tone for the entire build. We got three different couch options with this kit and I definitely want to use like this matching set right here. If you look really close, 
see it's kind of like that fuzzy boucle fabric. These couches are like so expensive in real life too. And look at all of these pretty swatches. Oh my gosh. And they even have this kind of like, I don't know, is that like corduroy almost? I can totally imagine like what texture that fabric is. I just don't know what it's called. I'm saying corduroy in my head, but I don't really know if that's right or not. That might be one of my new like favorite couches in the entire game. Oh my gosh. And we also seem to have gotten this new kind of like fluffy textured rug, which is a nice addition. But if I'm going to be completely honest, nothing in my eyes lives up to the classic city living fluffy rug. No hate to that new rug. I'll find somewhere else to put it. But in this living room, we need to have the fluffy rug. The Huga aesthetic is all about layering different like comfy, cozy textures. So think like big chunky knit throw blankets, fluffy rugs, comfy couches, and overall just think like a very calm, serene color palette. So basically it's gonna be the complete opposite of our E for Eclectic build. In my eyes, the like epitome of coziness is having a nice fireplace. So I do wanna incorporate a fireplace for sure. We could also consider turning the living room this way and putting the couch facing that way instead. If I put it facing that way, I might be able to build out a full like modular bookshelf wall and maybe even like wrap it around the fireplace. So the cool thing about the bookshelves in this kit is they are like modular, kind of like the dream home decorator walk-in closet shelves. So I think we're definitely gonna have a lot of fun with these pieces and let's see like what we can make with this. For full length pieces, we have these two as an option. So I can just slot those together and then those become like one big bookshelf, which is pretty cool. And then we also have these like half sized ones as well. So we have one that is full of books and then one that's kind of empty. Now let's not forget about these singular pieces here. They kind of act as good like extender pieces. It's a good way to make your shelf as seamlessly tall as you want. Okay, does that look like a cozy book nook or what? This is all just one continuous piece and I just alt placed it right into the corner here to make it look like it's an L-shaped corner bookshelf like that. Now I do wanna change the color of all of these pieces because I want it to feel like really light and airy. There's a lot of different tones of brown. There's also black, white, but I think I'm drawn to this cream color the most. I filled the blank spaces in the shelves with some decorations, some of their hobbies, anything that might bring them joy and serenity. And then the kit did come with this really pretty side table and this cute little clutter piece on top, which is just like a little diary book and a little cup of coffee, which I think is perfect for this little corner reading nook. And then we also got this really nice painting here that I just leaned up against the wall and this little plant and candle sets. Now for coffee table, we did get a new coffee table, but I think it might be a little bit too big for the space. So I might just go in with this circular round one from Tiny Living. And then I think I'm going to do the little nestling table trick where I take two of them and size one of them down using the left square bracket key and then just slot it in underneath as if they're two little like nesting tables. And obviously what better decor piece to put on this coffee table than you guessed it, more books. This clutter piece from the new kit is really pretty. I really love how modern it looks as well. I'm just gonna go in with this hanging plant from the Blooming Rooms kit. Maybe just right here by the chair slash window feels the most natural and realistic. And I don't know, it just adds in some much needed color into this space. And what could be more cozy than a beautiful hanging plant, right? Okay, wait, I almost forgot to add this poof because no cozy living room is complete without a poof. And there you have it. Here is our Huga comfy, cozy living room using the new book note kit. There is no doubt that this is one of the most comfy living rooms you've ever seen. So let's move on to the next room. Let's tackle this open concept dining and kitchen area. So I definitely want to make like a clean, simple kitchen, maybe even do like a mostly white kitchen and definitely lean into that like Scandinavian design. I think the all white swatch of these modern dream home decorator counters would be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna take these island counter pieces. These ones from Island Living have a waterfall edge, which I absolutely love. And I'm gonna just place them like so. Now this is when I go into the cool kitchen stuff pack and I find this cutting board. There's a lot of nice like natural wood swatches. I think I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna size it up by one using my right square bracket key and then turn it around so you get the clean edge. And then and I'm just gonna alt place it directly underneath this island piece. 
I think I'll change the underneath part to this orangey wood just so it matches the coffee table in the living room a little bit better. And then for stools, I'll just go in with these nice neutral base game ones. Instead of cabinetry, I think it'd be best if we just went in with some open shelving. So I'm just going to grab this plain wood swatch from the base game. It's actually perfect because the wood swatch kind of matches the bookshelves. Here's the shelves all cluttered up. I just added this really cute small little plant on the island. I think it's absolutely perfect. Now I do want to add a runner rug and maybe some artwork on the walls here. I'll just grab this geometric print fuzzy one from the fitness stuff pack. And then for wall art, I think it would be cool to use some more of these ones from the book nook kit just because they are quite modern so we actually got quite a few swatches oh my gosh that's like beautiful when you see that many rows of swatches not trying to put pressure on the sims team but 15 swatches like this should absolutely be the standard. I will never say no to more swatches. I went ahead and chose these three with the matching brown frame. I think that it adds in like a slight pop of color, which is kind of nice. And we're pretty much done with our kitchen. I maybe want to add this same overhead light. To me, that just brings the entire space together, especially when you're working with like really white and bright spaces. You really need to have like one or two pieces of dark black or dark furniture to kind of ground everything. So yeah, here is our Huga relaxing and calming kind of Scandinavian inspired kitchen. So let's move on to the dining room. Not gonna lie, we have a decent amount of space for a dining room. I'm so tempted to use this black swatch, but I do think that it would make the whole place a little bit too modern and less like cozy and airy, which is what we're going for. So I think I will opt for this light creamy swatch instead to kind of blend in with the rest of the home. Since we're channeling comfort and coziness in this home, I think it's mandatory that we choose dining chairs that have armrests. Now this chair from the Dream Home Decorator Pack is literally called the butt hugger chair. So it has to be comfy, right? Like it says it in the name. Now, let me tell you, we are barely fitting six chairs around this dining table, but I think it's really important that we do have a big dining table in this small space because the Huga aesthetic is all about being cozy, but it also references a feeling of friendship. So I imagine that the Sim here has like their friends over all the time and they're gathered around the table eating like a home cooked dinner together or maybe playing like a board game or something. I might just add this fluffy rug from the new book nook kit. It fits underneath here perfectly. And in the middle of this dining table, let's put another one of these book baskets. This one is a little bit empty, which is kind of cool. I also decided to size down this puzzle set from the Growing Together pack because to me, there's nothing more cozy or relaxing than doing a puzzle on your dining room table with your friends or family. And I just finished it off with this overhead light slide plant fixture from the blooming rooms kit so here is our huga cozy dining room all done I think that the color scheme is super relaxing and definitely in line with a lot of the like inspo photos I was looking at as well. And I do love how all three of these spaces kind of flow into one another. It feels open concept, but also like cozy at the same time. So let me know what you guys think of this area. It's time to move on to the second half of the age. Let's work on the primary bedroom. So I think I want to make this for a family. So this will be the parents bedroom. I think it'd be really cool if we like layered rugs on top of each other too so I might like layer the woven one and this fluffy one and I'm hoping there's a way I can incorporate more of the book nook kit into this room maybe by building like a modular built-in headboard or something maybe something like that I mean the people who live here clearly really like their books what can I say and then maybe grab some more of this art to put on the side tables now I will admit I'm reusing a lot of the same objects like I've used these paintings in the living room and kitchen already but since this is my first time ever using this kit I wanted to use this opportunity to showcase how you can use them in other areas of the home besides just a dedicated book nook area so at the end of the day I hope you guys find this video helpful in some way in determining whether or not you want to purchase the book nook kit okay i actually decided it would be way cooler if i just lined the entire back with this low bookshelf and then i can decorate the entire top ledge here so i'm just gonna grab like a stereo or something this candle from the everyday clutter kit and we can't say no to more books 
I mean, come on, reading is clearly their passion, okay? There's our bed area all done. Now I'm just gonna do like a little closet section here. Something is telling me I need to keep it super simple for the closet. I imagine they're the types of people that have like a capsule wardrobe and just like live very minimalistically when it comes to their clothing. So I'm just gonna use this plain white clothing rack from high school years and then clutter it with some of these dresses from Dream Home Decorator. In this little empty space, I'm gonna size down this little base game laundry basket and just slot it in there. I think that's really perfect. And we'll finish off this corner with the skinny base game plants. We used this chair in the living room, but I think it would be kind of perfect to just like throw one in the bedroom as well in the corner here. I'm really down for this brown swatch, but at the same time, I kind of feel like this place needs a little bit of color color. I'm also really eager to use this big stack of books from the new kit, so I think I'll just put that right next to the chair. It's like this was their morning ritual where they would read a book and have their coffee in their room here every day, and over the weeks as they finished their books and started reading new ones, the pile just stacked up and stacked up and stacked up until it was like the perfect end table. <laughs> the last thing I want to add is just a little throw blanket at the ends of the bed. So I grabbed this seat from the little campers kit and I'm just gonna alt place it right up against the bed as if the throw blanket is like hanging off to the side there and if you want to cover the line and make it look a little bit more natural you can just press the 9 key to raise up a little piece of clutter and just place it on top like that. So here's our bedroom all done. I definitely stayed true to that same like light and bright and airy color scheme. I think it matches the rest of the house. It's very simple and minimalistic, but also very cozy at the same time. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this bedroom. Let's move on to the bathroom really quickly. I think we're gonna go for something quite simple in the bathroom and just get a nice little soaker tub and shower combo. This one from Growing Together is my ride or die basically at this point. I can't live without it and I think it's imperative that we have a soaker tub if we're going for like a cozy relaxing house because obviously what's more relaxing than taking a bath right but fun fact actually I am not a bath person like I understand the general concept that taking a bath is like a cozy activity but I just personally am not a bath Taker. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I have like eczema or eczema and I have dry skin so like a hot bath would just like not be the vibe for my skin but I don't know I'm definitely on board with the concept of a bath okay I can appreciate a person that appreciates baths let's just say that <laughs> Here's the bathroom all done. I just went with simple, clean, neutral items here. I added a candle for some added relaxation. And yeah, I mean, it's not that deep. It's just a bathroom. Do you like it? Yes. Would you have any problem using this bathroom? No. Would you be mad if this was your bathroom? No. Okay, then it's settled. This is good enough. Let's move on. Okay, so we are on to the last room. This is going to be the kids' bedroom. So there are also a couple of items that we have yet to use from the new kit that I'm going to try my best to incorporate into this bedroom. I think that a good way we could incorporate this couch is pretend that they use it for sleepovers because not gonna lie that looks like a pretty like thick cushion doesn't it? Like that would be low-key pretty comfy to sleep on especially with all those pillows. That's like a thick chonky cushion okay? I'm not complaining. I'm not. <laughs> I also saw this item in the book nook kit and I was thinking like what if we sized it up and put like the bed into it somehow maybe something like that I don't know and then there's this cool like floating bookcase shelf thing okay maybe I can snap like some toys and stuff to these shelves that would be kind of cute we can grab these same book nook paintings but this time use some of these more youthful swatches for overhead lighting I want to add this base game cloud light I just feel like if you read as much as this family does you're gonna have your head in the clouds like have a really active imagination that type of thing and then let's add these cozy beanbag chairs from the high school years pack because when it comes to a kid's aesthetic I can't think of anything cozier in a kid's mind besides beanbag chairs in their bedroom I'll put down this round rug from laundry day to add some texture into this room and then I also want to add those book stacks that we had in the parents bedroom because I think these are great like decor pieces I can't even begin to imagine how smart the people who live here are because they read so much 
And here I am using the same floor lamp from the new Book Nook kit, but this time I'm gonna dive into this pink swatch, which I think is super pretty and ties in with some of the pink tones in this room. Let's add this little cloud mirror up on top of the wardrobe here, just as decoration. And then we'll add an actual functional mirror to this little space right here. Also, I'm not a monster, okay? I'm gonna give this kid some real toys too, not just books. I'm gonna give them a Blarfy. They can be friends with Blarfy, and then maybe I'll give them, you know, some other stuff like this little action figure thing maybe even a race car okay oh my gosh i'm so generous look at how many toys they have and lastly as a finishing touch i think it would be quite funny if we put this like reading encouragement photo on the wall as if this kid needs any more encouragement to read more books and that's gonna be it for our relaxing little kids bedroom using the new book nook kit okay you guys we're pretty much done but we didn't use this coffee table and what's really cool about this coffee table is it has like books at the end of it so I thought it'd be a good idea to just size it down using the left square bracket key and then alt place it right into the end of the bed here to kind of make it look like an end of the bed like seating or something like that but nonetheless I needed to use that item somehow in order to officially use every single item from the kit in this build I just made a quick little entryway here and I want to take these shoes and just slot them underneath this table like this. And that concludes our H for Huga family home using the brand new cozy book nook kit. The foundation of the inspiration for this home definitely came from the living room. So I do believe that this living room is like the standout piece. It's definitely giving cozy in all of the right places. And in my opinion, this is kind of a different take on cozy overall. A lot of people associate cozy with like dark warm colors but if anything i hope that this demonstrated to you guys that you can still have a cozy welcoming home and still have it be like white and bright it really is just about how you fill up the space and what kind of textures you use please let me know what you guys think of this home if you liked it or not and also what you guys think of the new book nook kit are you gonna buy it are you not gonna buy it as usual please drop your comments down below on what i should do for the letter i i'm always so intrigued at your guys' ideas i'm discovering all these new styles that i've never heard of because of you guys and please don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video if you guys want me to continue with this series and do all of the letters i can't wait to get started on the letter i already so i'll see you guys all in the next video love you